Bowman here from BW1.com. And on a very nice day today here in Boston, I decided to take the review on the road and do the review of the Samsung Infuse 4G. Now, this is a highly anticipated phone coming to at and It's an exclusive to at and We saw it at CES, CTIA. We saw it last week when we were live blogging from the press conference. We did the unboxing now. We've done a camera review. We've done pretty much everything we've done to it, but do the final review, which we're going to do right now. We're going to start it off by just doing a quick hardware tour once again. You see most of this stuff here, but you have the nice 4.5 inch display, one of the largest displays on the phone that you're going to see. You can see that it's really large there. At the top here is the 1.3 megapixel front facing camera. You have your touch sensitive control buttons here at the bottom. And if you take a look here, you can see it's really thin. It's 8.9 millimeters thin. You can definitely see that. It's one of the thinnest 4G phones in the market right now. You have the volume controls here on this side. On the front is your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On this side, you have a power button. And on the bottom here, you have your micro USB port. And actually, not only does it charge and plug into your computer, but it's actually an HDMI adapter they included as well, so you can connect to your, t to your TV, which we're going to show you a little bit later. All right, we'll flip it over here to the back. You can see the 8 megapixel camera with LED flash and 720p video recording. You saw, um, you saw we pretty much did a review of that there, so definitely check that out. Really good camera, really, really sharp images. It probably, probably, probably one of the best cameras that I've seen since the Nokia E7's camera. And just take off the back, take off the back here. Very thin back plate. You can see the battery is a 1750 milliamp hour battery. And battery life is actually really good because of this display. I've been able to get about two days, of, uh, two days with moderate use with it. I see if you're a very light user on your phone, you're probably going to get close to three days without needing a charge. If you're a heavy user, you're probably going to get about a day to a day and a half. Right up here is where your SIM card is, and right below that is the SD card. It's a pre-installed 2 gigabyte SD card that's going to come with it. In the back, this snaps on just like that. It's actually made of uh, sort of sort of this uh, sort of like a matted, bumpy type finish. It's actually a really nice finish, really professional looking, and it gives it uh, the phone just a little bit more of a grip here. But um, right down below that is where your speaker port is also located. So that's pretty much a hardware tour. This is some of the best hardware that I've seen on a phone. I really, really like the Infuse hardware. For as big as it is, it's definitely very, very light, and it fit, fits in the hand, and it feels good in the hand. Samsung's done a really good job of giving you a device that you really do want to hold in your hand, even even, even uh, as big as the screen is, you would first think this is a big phone. When I give it to people, they think, oh, this is a really big phone, but then once they get in their hand and they see the screen and they like holding it and they like how the screen is and how sharp it is and all that stuff, they really start to like it and the size doesn't matter so much at that point. But you can see we have great hardware here, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to check out the software, which is Android 2.2.1 with the latest version of TouchWiz. Okay, let's take a look at the software inside the Samsung Infuse 4G. Now we're doing it outside here in the daytime so you can see how well the screen really works with the Super AMOLED Plus display. So you can see here you can still see things pretty clearly, even in direct light. And um, it has Android 2.2.1 with uh, TouchWiz over the latest version of TouchWiz, which is really cool, really responsive, really sharp. You get your Samsung widgets, applications, pretty much the standard stuff that you've seen on most Samsung devices that have TouchWiz on it. So what we're going to do here, so we're actually going to do a quick speed test to show off the 4G speeds. Let's go to speed test. Now. And we're going to do a live speed test right here. We're in the New England network. We're in Boston right here. So we're going to start the test. Now, it's supposed to be up to either 14.4 or 21 megabits in speed with the HSPA on AT&T's network. And we're going to put that to the test here live. Alright, as you can see there with the test, um, definitely below the speeds that we're expecting on AT&T's 3G network. You got 4,463 kilobits on the download, 1,261 kilobits on the upload, which is far below the expected speeds that you expect here. We've done quite a few tests on it and it definitely varies, but this is kind of what we got here as far as speeds are concerned. So that's just a quick speed test. Um, another thing we want to show you here that's new is in the Samsung Media Hub. 
score right here. And the media hub is pretty interesting. We'll go ahead and rotate it here. And with the media hub, get pretty much access to movies, TV, and um, all sorts of content right on here. And you can download it right on the device and you can use it pretty much anywhere you want to use it from watch it right watch it right on here on the nice screen and the cool thing here is, is about it you know we'll go into a quick um, movie born and raised from hell born to raise hell you can own it for $14.99 or you can rent it for $3.99 and the nice thing about that is that when you download it you own it and you can also stream it and connect it to your TV as well too which will show you how it works with the HDMI cable Okay, as you can see here, we have the Samsung Infuse 4G plugged in via HDMI. Pretty interesting way it plugs in HDMI. You have it through the USB port here into the HDMI adapter. Then there's a USB port on the side which you have to plug into the wall to get the power. And then you plug your HDMI cable in on the other end of the adapter. And then it connects to, as you can see it here. And it's pretty fast. There isn't any lag. As you can see, it's swiping very, very fast. Easy to do. And it will um, screen orientate as well too. So I'll show you here. We'll go into the gallery. And if we turn it this way, you see it comes out in the widescreen mode there and you can go through and click on different things, click on different pictures. Just like that. Swipe between them. So you can share your content very easily really cool there so that's the gallery and it'll work with the browser too if you so if you turn the browser that way it'll work and um, basically the biggest thing here is obviously the media hub and buying and getting movies and stuff and being able to share it and watch it right onto your TV so we'll head over to the media hub well that's actually right there and that also works in this mode too so if you want to buy uh, movies or anything like that you can just click on a movie you can watch preview do all that type of stuff there. Let's go ahead over to the video player. Which will go right here. And play some um, HD movies. Right here. And we'll play back in HD, of course. And this is a Kung Fu Panda trailer. Playing right from the phone. It won't play on the phone anymore. Once it's, once it's uh, plugged in and on here, it's only going to play on here. But all the controls are right here, so if you want to fast forward it, you can go just like that. Rewind. Real simple. Alright. And there you go. So that's using the HDMI cable with the Samsung Infuse 4G. Really simple, really intuitive, really easy to use, and really good. And I'm glad they included, in the, ca included the cable inside of the packaging. Thumbs up to at and Team Samsung for that. So let's head back outside and finish up the review. So as you can see here, AT&T and Samsung have come together to create a great phone here with the Samsung Infuse 4G. You have great hardware, great camera, good software with um, Android 2.2.1 with TouchWiz on it. With the latest version of TouchWiz which works, works well, runs really fast with a 1.2 gigahertz processor and great battery life. Overall, a great package. There's only a couple of caveats I would say with it. It would be that the speaker's not that great on it, the internal speaker's not that great. And I would say the 4G speeds are still a little bit left to be desired. You really want to see at t kind of push that up. You know, it's still some controversy over that. But, you know, over time, that could be a little bit better. Right now, the Samsung Infuse 4G is going to be one of the top Android handsets out there. It's going to be the best one on AT&T's network. So if you're in the market for a new handset and you look in Android, the Samsung Infuse 4G is definitely one to definitely take a look at there. So this is Bowman here from BW1.com. Reminding you, subscribe to our YouTube page, follow us on Twitter, become a fan of our Facebook fan page. Also, check out our review. The link's in the description. Also, with links to all of our social networks, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.